The crease tool is a fantastic new innovation in Gravity Sketch sub -D modeling. We developed it in order for our users to have the most input they could have on their surfaces. To begin, I'll intersect the surface with my gravisphere and press the blue button on my non-drawing hand. From here, I'm prompted with my traditional sub-D menus, and I'll press the black button underneath the red button on my drawing hand with the paintbrush and hammer on it to get this menu. I'll go ahead and get crease with my gravisphere. And using my trigger, I can select which lines become creased. I can add or take away with the click of my trigger on the dominant hand. Here, I can continue to edit just like normal. Surface and Spline is a new tool we've developed at Gravity Sketch because of our users having difficulty connecting their surfaces to splines. To begin, press the purple button on your non-drawing hand and go to the Surface tool. You can bring this menu into your scene. Under Surface, you have Sub-D, NURBS, and Simplified. Notice Simplified does not have a button here. NURBS and Sub-D do. We'll go to Sub-D. We'll trigger select the tool, hover both our hands over the spline, and press the dominant trigger to start and create vertices along the geometry. Press the non-dominant hand trigger to end. Regarding this chair, let's turn on the mirror. We'll move this aside. Notice the spline and the surface are not one and the same. So with the same procedure, I'll hover over, press my dominant trigger to start and my non-dominant trigger to end. Now I'm going to edit these points. You can see that they all stem from the orange rib. Infinite layers are a brand new feature in Gravity Sketch, enabling our users to work in the most detailed layered way they'd like. To find layers, press the blue button on your non-drawing hand and press the layers button. Use the grab sphere to drop it into the scene. I've designed a shoe to illustrate the concepts. So here's the sketch, the sole, the upper, the laces, I'll remove, remove the original sketch. I'll add strokes and tabs. To add a new layer, press the plus button on the bottom left of the menu. To remove, hover the grab sphere over and press the red button to delete, just like normal geometry. In order to rename, use the trigger to press, hit clear, and then type in the name of whatever layer you're working on. Here we're going to grab this geometry using our grab sphere and drop it into the green bucket. You can see that the tabs are on different layers. You can point and use the trigger to easily navigate. Or when it's in your non-dominant hand, you can push up and down on the joystick, enabling you to swiftly move through all of your layers. Sub-D snapping is a brand new feature in Gravity Sketch, designed for our users to most easily connect geometry, specifically splines and surfaces. To begin, I have inks out that I've created for a gas tank for most likely a motorcycle or bike. I'm going to press the blue button on my non-drawing hand and click Mirror. The mirror itself is not inherent to Sub-D snapping, but it is vital to this specific model because I want to maintain symmetry. So if I go, go to Surface, I can turn on Sub-D, Simplified, or Nerves. But I have to turn on Sub-D for snapping. So, using my triggers, I draw the surface on top, and then using the grab sphere, 
pressing the blue button on my non-drawing hand, I can go in to edit the points. From here, I'm gonna turn on the snap input mode. This will enable me to connect the edit points of the surface to the edit points of the ink by using the grab sphere. The precision movement tool is a brand new feature in Gravity Sketch, designed for users to more easily align geometry in relationship to itself and other parts of the file. To access, press the blue button on your non-drawing hand and go to Settings. Here you'll see Smart Move. You can toggle that off, XYZ, or All Direction. We'll start in XYZ. I want to move this band at the top, so I'm going to expand my Grab Sphere and hover. I'm going to situate my non-drawing hand underneath so that the green axis is visible. Then I'm going to grab my dominant hand and move up so that the band moves as though it would on a real set of headphones. You can also maneuver left to right and back and forth on the blue axis. I'm gonna to go to all direction and show you how that works relative to the plastic pieces on either side. I'm gonna turn off the frame And now I'm going to edit these plastic pieces on the side. When you see this gray axis, that's kind of a custom axis that is not red, green, or blue, meaning you're not moving across an X, Y, or Z axis. So again, I'll situate my hands, find the gray axis, and move flush to the green surface. Weighted control points are a brand new feature in Gravity Sketch. We've designed them to give our users more control than ever before over their geometry. To begin, I've started with a chair. I'm gonna turn my mirror on. I'm gonna grab the geometry and press the blue button on my non-drawing hand. Here, I have all of my edit points as usual, but if I use the grab sphere and push up on the joystick of my dominant hand or down, I can manipulate the influence this one control point has over the entire piece of geometry. The square is the sharpest, and the clover, for example, is the weakest. You can also make your lines not only harder or softer, but thinner or fatter. You can do this by going right to left on the joystick of your dominant hand. So there's up and down, right and left. Up, down, left, right. One-to-one -one viewpoint is a brand new development in Gravity Sketch. It enables our viewers to quickly toggle between a one-to-one -one viewpoint with their model and the detailed shots that they're working in. To illustrate this, I'll intersect the side panel of this BMW model and press the blue button on my non-drawing hand. From here, with this being sub-D geometry, I'm going to continue to edit this blue crease that I've created with the crease tool. To see this and how it impacts the overall aesthetic of the car, I'm going to hold the grip on my non-drawing hand and press the trigger. The trigger is what enables me to toggle between the two views. Here I can see how the crease has affected the lines of the car.